Hi, everyone. Welcome to ACIT Room. This video shows that how to set up NetBeans for Java programming on Raspberry Pi. First of all, I'd like to give you an overview of this video in scope page. Secondly, we will focus on the installation of NetBeans. Next, three Java automation build tools will be brief simply. And then, default Java and specific version installed on Raspberry Pi will be introduced. Finally, creating Java application and running a remote Raspberry Pi are showed. The purpose of this presentation is to provide simple procedures for Java programming on Raspberry Pi. Introduce three automation build tools for Java programming. Highlight important factors during the developing environment settings. Provide video demonstration of these procedures for reference. NetBeans is an open source development environment, tooling platform, and application framework. It was firstly made by Sun Microsystems since 2000. In 2010, Sun Microsystem was purchased by Oracle Corporation. And then NetBeans was donated to Apache Software Foundation. As a result, NetBeans changed to Apache NetBeans. In 2019, Apache NetBeans became a top-level Apache project. In operating environment, Apache NetBeans version 14 needs to running with install JDK 11 or later. In addition to this, it also supports different operating systems such as Windows, Linux, and Mac OS platform. The Apache NetBeans can be downloaded for the Apache official website. The following video shows the NetBeans installation on Windows. Click the next button to jump to next page. In license agreement, click the checkbox for accepting the agreement. And click the next button to go next page. Normally, the default installed folder is selected inside program file folder in C drive. Again, click the next button to install the NetBeans IDE. After installation, the finish button will be shown. And click it to finish installation. When we create Java application on NetBeans 14, it provides basically three types of automation build tools and they call Apache Ant, Maven, and Gradle. In Apache Ant automation build tool, it uses XML based build file for Java application automatic build process. In Apache Maven, it uses dependency management based automatic build file. For Java application build process, the build file called POM XML file is similar to the build file of Ant build tool. In Apache Gradle, it uses dependency management build with few assumptions. The build steps call tasks. And it consists of different tasks such as actions, inputs, and output. When the Java application needs Java JDK to run on Raspberry Pi 4, there are two types Java that are Oracle Java and Open JDK. In Oracle Java, it is paid service with support options and licensing. And it also is not compatible with Raspberry Pi. Normally, standard edition is standard version. In Open JDK, it is free and open source Java environment. Under GNU General Public License. Meanwhile, it is fully updated and compatible version for Raspberry Pi. For installing OpenJDK on Raspberry Pi, we can select default Java version or specific Java version. The following video demonstrates the installation of default OpenJDK version. Before installing the default OpenJDK version, remember to update the list of software packages in Raspberry Pi. After typing the default JDK installation command, it shows the latest Java 11 version. And then the console will ask whether continue to install or no. Type yes to continue this installation.
the console continues to show the following installation until it finished. The following video demonstrates the installation of Java 8 version OpenJDK. Similar to default version JDK installation. But we changed default version. To open JDK 8 version for this demonstration. After typing the default JDK installation command. The console will ask whether continue to install or no. Type yes to continue this installation. The console continues to show the following installation until it finished. In this page, it shows that how to create Java application with Ant Automation Build Tool step by step. Step 1, create new Java project by selecting Ant Build Tool. And then writing simple loop program for running Java program demonstration. Step 2, create remote Java platform for running Java application. We need the IP address, SSH login name and password of target Raspberry Pi. For setting remote Java platform. Step 3, after created remote Java platform, we can build Java program and send it to the remote Raspberry Pi for execution. The following video demonstrates how to create Java application. Setting the remote Java platform and put the Java program to run on the remote Raspberry Pi. First, open the NetBeans 14. Click the file in the top menu. And then select the new project. In new project dialog, click Java with Ant. And then select Java application. Click the next button. For setting the name. And storing location. In this demo, we change the name to Java App 1 and store it in default folder. Finally, click the finish button to edit the Java program and then the main function in Java program. The main function is the initial start of Java program. For reducing the step, the simple forever loop program has copied to the main function. The forever loop keeps the program continuously run without the program exist. Thread sleep for one second keeps the program to show the message per second. Let us to run the program. Click the green triangle button to run. And then the output dialog in the bottom. Shows program counting message only without any message. It is because the program run in local machine JDK. Rather than remote Raspberry Pi machine. Click the tool in the top menu. And select the Java platforms. To open Java Platform Manager, it has Local Java SE and Remote Java SE. Click Add Platform to add new Remote Java Platform. In the setting menu, changing the platform, input the IP address, login name and password, in Remote JRE Path. It must be the Java folder path that installed on Raspberry Pi. In this demo, Java 11 version was installed and used for running the Java program in working directory. If the remote JRE path is not correct path, it will show the error message. If the remote JRE path is correct, it will jump to next setting page. In this page, type sudo in execution prefix and click the close button to finish the setting before running the Java program on remote Raspberry Pi machine. We need to set running configuration. Select and right click Java application on project menu and then click the properties on the pop up menu. Create the configuration name. And then select Project Platform on Runtime Platform list. Only Project Platform shows. And the Remote Java Platform cannot find. 
is because the Java program is set as Java 17. We need to change it to Java 11 on sources list. After change to Java 11, we can select the remote Java platform and execute the program on the remote platform. Click the green triangle to run the application on the remote Raspberry Pi machine. Now, the console show the step by step that run the program on the remote machine. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.